Hey guys, it's Tom here and welcome back to Into the Breach. We're going to play on normal this time. I've just noticed there's coins uh, and you can actually change your squad, which I didn't notice before. So, there's a bunch of different ones and you can't really see what they are other than the silhouettes. But I'm guessing the ones that cost more, uh, you know, cost... A, a, well, a better. They're more impressive, I suppose. So let's. Uh, we've got five coins. We didn't quite get number six because we have to get like a dash attack or something. So what have we got? Still Judica. These mechs specialize in potential positional manipulation to turn the vec against each other. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, what else we got here? We've got Detritus's beam technology and Pinnacle shield technology create a powerful combination. RST weather manipulators allow these mechs to take advantage of smoke storms everywhere. RST engineers designed this squad around the mass destruction capabilities of harnessed lightning. That sounds pretty cool. Invincible to flames, these mechs aim to burn any threat to ashes. That sounds... All of these sound really cool. These mechs have spectacular damage output but rely on nanobots feeding off dead vec to stay alive. That sounds just like a glass cannon build. Sounds rely on a cryo launcher, a powerful weapon that takes an experienced pilot to master. Okay, so we'll go for... Instead of going for one of the fives, I'm going to run like both of these. Because I think it'll be more interesting. And plus I'm guessing you can like, you know, gradually get them anyway. So... Go for this. And this one. There we go. Right, so... I'm going to go for... Which one should we take? We'll go. We'll take the Zenith Guard. So I'm noticing that each one has uh, like the different medals. So two victory, three, four, and then the, the achievements. So we'll, we'll take the Zenith Guard. So you start with the laser, ramming, and attraction. So I don't know if it's a good idea actually to play on normal with new mechs. So what I might do... You know, whatever, we'll play on normal. It doesn't matter. I was going to say I might play on easy with the new ones because I don't know how they play properly. But I'm sure we can figure it out. It's not going to be that difficult. So, I, uh, I'm i going to play with the Zenith Guard on normal. Let's go. I didn't even know there were other things, by the way. I literally found that out just now as I noticed the coins. Like, I noticed the coins. I was like, what are they for? And then I noticed it said customized squad and there was whole new squads. I was like, oh, <laughs> I didn't know that. I literally thought it was just the original squad. And then, that's it. You just do different difficulties. Turns out there's loads of different types of mechs and squads that you can put together, plus the difficulty. So there's actually a lot of different stuff to do. Anyway, don't care what you have to say. We're going to go straight in to air support. Let's go. So I might do a little bit badly at first because I don't know how they play out. And obviously we're on normal difficulty, but I'm sure I can figure it out fairly soon. So that was like pure defense, right? Oh, they say different stuff now. They say it's the Zenith Guard. Let's go. Alright, what we got going on then? We're going to have to get used to it. So he's dead straight away, right? Because air support comes first. Yeah, so he's dead, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, so what can he do? You can use this twice. Shield tiles from damage. That seems really good because I can just straight up... Well, I can't right now because I'm not in the right line of sight. But I can just shoot it on buildings. Uh, he just straight up has a laser, which is actually really good, because I can just instantly do this. Um, and then this guy I can just ram in like any direction. Oh, it does damage to him. So I guess you're supposed to maybe like put a shield on him and then ram. That would make sense. Uh, we can't actually do anything. I'm going to put him like more in the middle and then end the turn. So he will die first anyway, because the airstrike... So that doesn't really matter. That, he's blocked an enemy. So we are a bit low on health at the minute. But I'm just going to try and keep it like one enemy if I can. Okay. Never mind. There's like millions spawning. Um, what does he have? Attraction pulse. Pull types will do one tile. Uh, that's actually really good. Because I can just make him not be able to hit us. And then he'll be in the line of sight of the laser as well. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, I don't think I can get... I'm going to put you there. And then... You know, actually, no, right. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put you... I'm going to put you there. And you there. Okay? And then I'm going to put you here. And give him a shield. Because then he's going to take no damage. 
but it should still block the enemy. I think. I'm not sure. We're testing things out. This is all new. We're using a, a completely different set of mechs. Hopefully it works out how uh, how we want it to. Hey, there we go. Did no damage. Beautiful. So unless he moves, he's dead straight away. I'm probably he's either going to attack the building or he's going to move. All right, he's going to move and try and attack the building, but still die, which is fine. Uh, you are so it does do one damage to yourself. See, so what I can do is I can do that and then that. Hey, there we go. Beautiful. And then can get rid of this guy. And we're all good. Yeah. I'm liking it. I'm liking the Zenith uh, the Zenith guard. They're doing pretty well. I can I can pick up what they're putting down, you know? I right, definitely need to move him out of the way. Why is this pilot all weird? They were like glitchy. Eh, weird. Uh, okay, so you're attacking the building. Um... Okay, so first things first, we need to move you out of here. Put you there. Whoops. Let's try that again. There we go. Then, put him there. Pull him towards me by one so he misses. End of the turn. There we go. That's a much better turn. <laughs> Did not mean to kill my own person. And we won. Very nice. Zenith guard for the win. Alright. Clearly they're just the best. 1,000 civilians instead of 500. Nice. Maybe it's because we're playing as different people? I don't know. Okay. Do not kill the volatile heck. Protect the power generator. Um, volatile hex annoy me. I'm not going to do that. Uh, let's do this one. Protect the missiles. Alright. Put you there. Put you there. And put you at the back. Because you're long range. So the, the defense mech is kind of like... Long range artillery, except it shoots shields. Yep, definitely get the pod straight away. Ooh, okay, that's a bit. That's a bit of an awkward one because I don't think I have anything that can. I do have actually no, no, I do. You can't, you can't get there. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to do. Um, okay, right. Oh, that's been line of sight. Okay, wait, undo that. Let's do. Okay, first of all, push him out of the way. Then, why is my phone lighting up? People are people are phoning me again. Uh, okay, we need to get rid of. Ah, I know what to do. Right, put you there, kill him, and then you there him towards you by one so he misses and we're all good beautiful zenith guard are pretty good i'm liking it i didn't i literally had no idea there were other squads that you could build i thought it was just the starting squad with the combat mech the tank mech and the artillery mech and then i thought it was just easy normal hard and that was it and I was going to try and go for the two, vic two island victory, three island victory, and get the last achievement. And then I was like, wait a minute, what's this gold icon? It looks like a coin. Turns out it was coins. <laughs> Clicked on customize squad, and then it was like, just a menu full of all these different squads. I'm like, oh, <laughs> there's actually like 15 different types of mechs that you can put together different squads with. There's preset squads. You can make a custom squad with a mixture of everything you've unlocked. Or you can press randomize to make a random squad of everything you've unlocked. And the three difficulties of all the achievements and different types of wins. So it turns out there's actually a lot more content than I thought. There's all the different squads with all the different difficulties and all the different types of wins plus achievements to unlock more squads. So I'm, I'm happy. I thought it was all over. Turns out it's not. Uh, this would be really good if it wasn't going to destroy the building at the end. Okay, that's going to go first, right? No, that's going to go last. Okay, um, so, like, realistically, this is good because it kills everyone. I will sacrifice one energy, but it will kill everyone. Because what are they, they going to do if I don't do that? He's doing one. 
Oh, they're just, just one. Okay. Um... Okay, first things, right, I need to pull him away to save him. And then, put him back, but kill him. He's hitting that for one. Oh, and that's it. Okay, so we don't need to do that. We can actually just, no, we can't. If I could get him around this other side, if he had one more movement, I'd be able to shoot the laser this way and not, like, you know, not everyone would be dead. You know, whatever. He's going to take damage anyway. I'm just going to do it. I don't think there was any way of me getting that there, so I'm just going to leave it how it was. So he's dead, then that's off. So now we just need to get... I'm going to get... I will get the pod, and I'll uh, make him repair himself as well. Okay, good. He didn't tie him up, which is actually... Really lucky because of West, we wouldn't have been able to do what I want to do. So I'm going to move him there, get the pod, repair him by one, and then I'm going to kill this one. And also, I'm going to move you there because it's closer to where they're going to pop up. So hopefully, that works out a bit better. All right, so far, so good. We're obviously we've lost one power grid, we're back at the starting health, but that's that's not too much of a problem if I can get him. One, two, three, nah. One, two, three, four. Hmm. See, if he had four movement, I could get him there and shoot all three of these, but I can't quite do it. I can, however, hit two of them. And then... Okay, so I'm going to do this, and then this. Yeah, there we go. That's good. That'll do. As long as the, the pilots don't die, it doesn't matter because they get their health back at the end. Why are they going all like glitchy and weird? Alright, very nice. 903, and we've got a pod which gives us... A reactor core, which I'm, I'm happy with. Uh, what can we use that? We get plus two health, plus one move, uh, plus one damage each. Increased damage to self and the target. That seems terrible. Uh, and you plus one use or plus three air. Wow, that's whoa. That'd be really good. Uh, I'm gonna give. Oh, does he already have one extra? Oh, he does. I'm going to give that plus one move. I didn't realize he already had plus one extra. Uh, and then I'm going to do... I probably should do this, like plus two health, because considering he hurts himself after he does an attack, is probably for the best. Uh, now we'll do... We'll do this one. Why not? The Zenith Guard are here. Hundreds of people are in those buildings. Make sure they stay standing. Okay, Dewey. <coughs> what does this do? Oh, it just becomes water. It doesn't kill them or anything. Okay, so... First of all... Let's put... Put you there. And then do that. And then put you there. No, 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 wait. Put you there and do that. And then put... Actually, no, don't put anything. Do that so that he takes no damage. And then end the turn. Very nice. Okay, I think that's probably... Probably the best way to handle that, I would say. We're going to stop an enemy from coming up but not take any damage, which is always nice. If they stay... Oh, no, that's good. We can pull him away, put him there and shoot him with a laser... Hmm, now we can't. <laughs> okay, um... Yes, we can. Okay, pull him, away, pull him out of the way. Put him there. Goodbye. And then... Goodbye. Look at that. Look at that. Everyone is dead. We've already killed five people out of the seven that we need to do to get the extra star. We're going to be fine. We're going to be absolutely fine. 
Okay, they haven't quite lined up how I wanted them to, but... He's on fire, which means... Uh, he's going to take some damage from that, so... Let's... Alright, let's kill him. And that... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can he go... If I move you out of the way... No. Alright, still though, still. We'll kill him. Put him there and put a shield on these. There we go. Perfect. I like to be able to throw a shield anywhere. It's really useful. There we go. Done. Nothing was damaged. Zenith Guard of Heroes. Did you see what they said? They said I'm a hero. Alright. Now I will go... I'm going to go for this one just to get the energy back. Because that's just the kind of player I am. I like that extra spooky energy. Of course he would attack the one that doesn't have a shield on it. Okay, that one doesn't matter so much. I was still trying to kill him, which I should be able to pretty easily because I can just do this. And then I can do... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Put him there and then... Can't actually get round to this, so I'm just gonna leave that how it is. Oh, he died from. Oh, that was a waste of a shield then. <laughs> I didn't realize. I would have put it on him if I'd known. I didn't pay attention to the fire. Okay, if I can get him around, we should be fine. I don't know if we can though. Oh, I can just put him there. That's fine. There we go, and then I can ram this, because it won't do any damage to that. And then, stick him there for a minute. You know what, I'll stick it, I'll put a shield on him, because I don't really want him to take, like, that much damage. Or any damage. So I'll put a shield on him for now. Block one of them, at least. Because then it's three on three, you know, it makes it a bit more, uh, a bit more even. <clears throat> Other than having a four on three bug robot gangbang, which is not what you want. No one wants that. Okay, uh, well, they're both attacking this, but I can do this, and then this, and then, whoops, didn't mean to do that, and then pull him towards me, and we're all good. Perfect. There are going to be three enemies coming up. Two of them are coming up on fire, though, so they're just going to instantly hurt themselves. That's not very good. Um. Oh no. <laughs> uh, okay, what can we do here? So. Who's hitting a building? These two. Okay, so. Can I... I can't do that because I need him to repair himself. Because he's going to take one damage. I don't really want to lose the pilot. So... Uh, I've run out of shields. I can... Mm, I don't know what to do. It's these two here that are like attacking things. I can kill him, but then it, I will die. And if I shoot with a laser, it's going to do damage to that. Right, I need to... Right, I'll kill him to get rid of that one damage. I don't want to sacrifice a whole pilot. I'm going to I'm gonna have to repair. Wait, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to repair him. I'm just going to have to take the one damage. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have to. I'm going to hope... I'm going to have to hope that it just gets blocked by the 15% chance, but it's very unlikely. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. It's fine. We're going to get one back, so it's not that bad. It's a bit annoying, so I wanted an extra one, but 
We're going to get that one back. Uh, there we go. So now... Go to the Corporate HQ and fight the boss. Uh, yeah. That'll do. Just chuck them all next to each other. It's not the best layout anyway. So we want to take out this big pink blobby ship first. Because he's going to be doing some... I don't know what. He's going to be doing something. All of it getting plus one HP. Oh, okay. See, that's... That's not what we want. We don't want plus one HP. So, first of all, get out of my face. Second of all, get out of my face. And third of all, I'm going to stick shields on both of these and end the turn. Because that is how we do it. So they did get their HP back, which is a little bit annoying, but uh, they should be dead fairly soon. So we've got to destroy the Abomination and protect the Corporate Tower, which is actually not that hard. Oh, I was hoping that stayed a bit more lined up than that. That's actually really good, because I can shoot straight through that, and it should be fine. Yeah, it is. So I'll do that. And then I can do this. Wait, why are they suddenly exploding? And they explode on the... Ah, oh, shit. Alright, we're going to reset that. We're going to reset that. Because... Okay, we're going to do this again. And then we're going to pull him away. And then headbutt you into the water. Alright, there we go. That went much better. Like, a lot better than before. So now it's just the Scion and this guy. We blocked the next enemy. I am going to have to heal him next turn now. It's the only thing with this unit. You have to heal him like every sort of... Three, four turns, depending on obviously how much damage he takes. That's the only problem. Um, so, I should have moved him first, but because now he's going to take damage again, I just realised. But too late. Uh, there's no way of me like getting him without him hurting me. I might just have to chuck a shield on the building. Yeah, okay, right, I'll do this. And then... Fuck! I keep forgetting they explode! Oh, well, there was nothing we could have done about that. It was either let him hit or kill him and he explodes. I do really need to kill the Scion, though. Uh, wow, he has one HP left. That's not good. <clears throat> right, zero damage. Just there, I like it. Blocks that one. Only one more enemy coming up. Please line up nicely. I would really like it if you did. God damn it. They lined up terribly. Like, actually, the opposite of what I wanted. And now he can't move. Great. Um, brilliant. And they're going to destroy the tower if I... Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, now, shields, which is... Oh, shit. Okay. If he could... Oh, if he had one more movement, I could fix this. Oh, no. Can I kill him from here? I can't. Ugh. See, I could sacrifice the pilot. Uh, if I can get both the stars, I'll be able to buy a power grids back, so... It's not that big of a deal, but it just obviously depends how many power grids I'd break. Don't really want to lose this pilot, but I guess I'm going to have to. 
Oh, oh, this is so annoying. I don't know how I feel about this team. Like, they're good. I'm just, I don't think I'm very good at using them properly. Like, I don't know. The whole ramming and doing damage to yourself thing, I don't really like it that much. Um, Again, I'm probably just not using it how he's supposed to. So, there's no way of him not taking out a power grid, but we can save the star. No, we can't because I can't even... Right, I need to ram him. Whatever. Because if he takes this out, we lose the star, and then we're not going to get an extra bit of power grid back. Uh, these are both attacking him, so whatever, and... Oh, no, actually, no, we've done it. By sacrificing the, uh, the charge mech, we've actually, we've done it. I mean, we are, oh, we're going to lose him as well, I just realised. Jesus Christ, why is my phone buzzing so much? I'm never this popular. Yeah, we've lost both of our mechs. I'm a fucking idiot. I could have just killed him. I could have literally just killed him with the laser. And I didn't. And now he's going to die for no reason. Great. Well. Unnecessarily lost two mechs there. Didn't really, uh... Didn't really want that to happen. Yeah, this is going actually just terribly. Um, I guess... We'll get all three of these back and try and redeem this run. <laughs> just because the pilots are dead doesn't mean it's all over. Uh, I'll buy one of them and just continue. Alright, well. Didn't go fantastic. We have no pilots in either of these now, which is terrible because now they have no bonuses. Uh, this one also has now lost this extra thing, which is very bad. Uh, yeah. I'm going to install that there and give it more health. Health is, I'd probably say, like, the most important thing. And this one, is, I probably should give it to this one, actually. I mean, I can. I can just then get rid of the shield protector. But I don't really want to do that, because that's really, really useful. Uh, but, yeah, it didn't go great. We lost two pilots. Uh, we do have a maximum power grid. Luckily, we got enough stars to just fill that completely up, which is which is pretty good. But um, losing two pilots is not exactly the best. But hopefully, we can get some back. We'll make sure we get any pods that drop that... You know, so we can get more pilots. Uh, let me know what sort of victory you think I should go for. Two islands, three islands, or four islands. What What do you think is the most challenging or the best? Personally, I think going for four islands is probably a good choice because you can get as many upgrades as possible, although there is then the risk of losing power along the way rather than just going straight to the last island with full power. But let me know what you think. Uh, how should I play it from here? I'm li I like the squad. They're different. It's just a bit weird. The charge mech for me is a bit... Ugh. Like, I don't like charging, you know, taking damage and doing damage. It's a bit weird, but I'll, I definitely like the fact there's different squads. I, like I say, originally, I just thought there was the one squad with the combat mech, the cannon mech, and the artillery mech, and then easy, normal, hard difficulty. That's all I thought it was. But now I've discovered you if you do achievements, you get coins, and then you use the coins to unlock new squads of, like, completely different stuff. There's, like, one that heavily relies on using ice, to freeze things. There's one that they have to eat the corpses of the dead vet with nanobots to stay alive, but they do a lot of damage. Like so the glass cannon, I guess, but with a twist. Like there's a lot of different squads, I like that. But um Oh, I was gonna save and quit and look at the other squads while we talk about it, but it's just quite out of the game. But yeah, I like the fact there's different squads and they all have their different positives and negatives. I like the sound of the one that does a lot of damage, but you need to eat the corpses with nanopots to stay alive. That sounds interesting. Uh, and uh, there, there was one that was purely based on fire as well, which sounds like it would be pretty cool. Just completely flamethrowing everything. It sounds like a lot of fun. So, turns out this is probably going to be a longer series than I thought, because originally I was thinking, okay, we're going to do easy, normal, hard. That's it. Now we're probably going to just play on normal from now on and try out all the different squads. Uh, and I probably will keep going until I get at least one victory with each squad, uh, regardless of whether it's two, three, or four islands. If we get a victory with a squad, we'll move on to the next squad, <clears throat> and I'll probably take it from there. So, it's probably going to be a lot longer of a series than I first thought, uh, but honestly, that's a good thing. I really like this game, and now I like it even more that I know there's different squads. I really want to try out the Flamethrower squad, but I'm not going to just abandon this one. We'll do this squad first. If we die, we'll hopefully get the achievements to unlock another squad, um, the Flamethrower one. And if we win, then we definitely should. But 
regardless of what happens, we'll switch squads every time we die or win. And then if we lose, obviously, we'll eventually loop back round until we get a win with all of the squads. But anyway, that is going to be it for today. So, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like button, leave a comment down below, or subscribe to the channel for more videos. Any of that stuff is massively appreciated. As always, I'll see you in the next video. And goodbye.